two bills that are aimed at improving the lives of college students in Connecticut. Uh, first is, uh, is Senate Bill 966, an act concerning uh, sexual assault forensic examiners at institutions of, of higher education. Uh, and this will extend a, a successful uh, sexual assault forensic examination program uh, from six acute care hospitals in the state to the University of Connecticut Infirmary, uh, providing victims of campus sexual assault with more quick and more compassionate care. Uh, and then we have the, uh, the sexual assault forensic examiners, or SAFE, uh, nurses uh, receive 40 hours of classroom training and will have specialized knowledge of legal issues uh, such as chain of custody and courtroom testimony, which are often critical in making a successful uh, sexual assault prosecution. We now have more and more returning veterans uh, attending college and graduate school in the state. Uh, each public college in Connecticut has a veterans, uh, that is OASIS, Operation Academic Support for Incoming Service Members Center, uh, usually a lounge area in a student center uh, for some of the 6,000 veterans enrolled in college, uh, uh, Connecticut colleges and universities. And veterans use these centers to meet, study, to relax, uh, and talk and to gather information on federal veterans' benefits, the GI Bill, tuition waivers, disability benefits, uh, and other subjects of particular interest to them. Uh, but each college uh, oasis is slightly different. And Senate Bill 694 requires the Board of Regents for Higher Ed and UConn uh, to evaluate and assess the different uh, programs offered uh, at the oasis centers and to identify successful programming there. We're here as the Senate in a bipartisan uh, fashion, uh, working together on important legislation that will uh, move our state forward. Um, you know, I, I, I really uh, want to just uh, thank the students for being here today and, and those who are representing our veterans and also um, uh, those in higher education. Uh, because I like to say to students many times that it's easier to fight the state legislature than it is to fight City Hall. And what I mean by that is that uh, many times uh, we are very accessible to state legislators. Uh, we like to hear from the public. We have public hearings. We value people's input. And through that input, uh, through our legislative process that we have here in the state of Connecticut, we produce good legislation. And a lot of that is because of uh, people who come to us, whether they're students, uh, whether they're veterans, uh, whatever interests people have, um, everyday folks can come to us and bring an idea. And I think when that happens, we're more successful as a state. And the reason that we're here today is because we did exactly what Senator Duff was describing. Students came forward and we listened to them. Students came to Senator Beth Bai and Representative Mike D'Amico and talked about the OASIS services at Tungsis Community College. Students from Quinnebog Valley Community College talked with me about the great services that they have at their OASIS centers, but how perhaps they could be improved with more full-time staff and more support for our student veterans. Similarly, students from the University of Connecticut uh, came to Representative Greg Haddad and I and talked about the need for the safe nurse legislation to allow uh, students who are victims of sexual assault to have those critical exams done right there at the University of Connecticut campus instead of having to make the long trip uh, to Wyndham Hospital. So students' vo voices are heard loud and clear in the Connecticut General Assembly. What was really wonderful about uh, chairing the higher ed committee is that we do have such amazing involvement from our students. Um, we sat there till, till the wee hours of the morning um, for this bill and many others and the, the uh, civic engagement by the students in our campuses throughout the state is really phenomenal. Um, so the, the bill that I'm talking about is, is 966 uh, and that's the uh, sexual assault forensic examiners and those are referred to as SAFE, sexual assault forensic examiners. One in five out of the women um, on our college campuses report being sexually abused. And what's happening now is although we do have um, safe examiners in six of our hospitals throughout the state, which is fantastic, UConn, where it's located, really is shut off from easy access to those, those hospitals. So Wyndham being the closest hospital is 20 to 25 minutes. What happens though is that it forces our students to have to go through the very traumatic process of reporting more than once. They have to go to the health center and report. Um, and then they have to travel to Wyndham Hospital in an ambulance by themselves without anyone allowed to go with them to then go through the process a second time. So by by combining this and having um, their examinations done in a professional way, a safe way, a way 
that they can be um, with their community, their supports, and their colleagues makes all the sense in the world. And so I'm really pleased that we're able to work on this bill um, to make it that much easier for our students to go through what's already a traumatic experience. So thank this you. is what happens when Republicans and Democrats get together in bipartisan spirit to achieve a good for the state of Connecticut. And I want to thank Senator Looney and the leadership of the committees responsible for these bills for putting forward ones of which we could join together on Husky Day and support. I was a police officer for 28 years. One of the toughest parts of my job was to respond to a hospital where I would interview a rape victim. And you can only imagine the trauma that the rape victim experiences by having to retell the story. Well, now we're moving one step closer, so the story only has to be told once. There was a movement years ago to create a multidisciplinary team where the victim of a rape crime or sexual assault, once they responded to the hospital, those that were needed to would respond as well. So you'd only have to tell the story once. The purpose is to not re-victimize the victim. But we also want to make sure that the evidence is collected, is collected in a sound, proficient, professional manner so that it can be used later on in a court of law to punish the perpetrator for the crimes that they committed, not only against that individual student, but against the college as a whole, because word gets around and it leaves a black mark on the university and should not be allowed to happen again. This act moves that much, moves that closer in that the students will not have to travel to a hospital that is certified in collecting that evidence, but will provide those professionals at the University of Connecticut in a one-stop shop, and so the victim can get on with his or her life to move forward